Hello guys, welcome to another interesting class on Benko Institute. Over time, for the last two months, I have posted a lot of videos on inverter generators. And many a times people ask me questions like the one on your screen now. What is an inverter generator? Okay, well, an inverter generator is a generator that basically produces pure sine wave voltage. Okay. The output is pure sine wave. What this means is your inverter generator can basically power sensitive appliances. Okay? But that is not the same for regular conventional generators. On today's class, we'll be looking at the major differences between an inverter generator and a regular conventional open generator. It's quite unfortunate that right now we don't have a normal conventional generator of this size in the office now what we do have here is a pack side inverter generator 1200 1, peak watts or 1200 peak watts as the case may be and this one is 8 kilowatts peak watts that is 8000 uh, peak watts okay and that is what we have here but basically this would help in the explanation okay first difference is the power output stability okay this is how an inverter generator works an inverter generator has an engine just like this it has a coil just like this as well but then the coil is a little bit smaller what happens is this engine moves the coil which produces ac voltage okay after it produces ac voltage there is an internal circuitry, circuitry that helps in converting that AC voltage to DC. Okay? And then when it eventually converts to DC, an inverter is in place that now eventually converts it to AC again. But this time, when it converts to AC, it is now pure sine wave. Okay? And this one is able to power um, sensitive instrument, like I said earlier. The output of this generator, this inverter generator, is the same output you will get from a solar inverter. You know your solar system, right? This is the same output, the same pure sine wave output you will get from a pure sine wave inverter in your solar system. Is that understood? All right. First of all is the power output stability. This output is very, very stable. Okay. There is no fluctuation whatsoever. There is no harmonics whatsoever. But for this, the output is not stable. As a matter of fact, why you can use this for sensitive instruments that you would find that needs low voltage or some kind of voltage, you can't use this for it. You can't use this generator for it at all at all. Another is fuel efficiency or petrol efficiency. This generator particularly, it's the best when it comes to um, how efficient it uses petrol. Why you will use two liters of petrol for the generator for close to eight hours, you can't then use it for an equivalent wattage of a conventional generator. You can't. So in terms of fuel efficiency, the inverter generator beats it up. And then next up, we have the noise level. The noise level of this generator is low. Why is it low? Because it has a very small engine. Okay, it is very, very low. And then for an equivalent of this generator, it is high. Okay, for a conventional generator like this, the equivalent of it, the noise level is way, way higher. And then we have size and portability. That is no longer news because this generator is so light that you can move it around. Okay? You can see other inverter generators are posted on this channel. There are some that are like foot flags. They are like foot box. They are very, very light. But you can't uh, get that kind of portability and size with a conventional generator. Fifth on the list is the cost. Because of the circuitry involved in this generator, because of uh, the higher technology used in this generator, this generator is more expensive than the equivalent in this um, conventional generator. is a little bit more expensive. But in the long run, in my opinion, it is worth it. Another is applications. Like I said earlier, there are some equipment that you cannot use this generator, a conventional generator to power. The equipment you cannot use a conventional generator to power, but you can use an inverter generator to power. And again, you can use this inverter generator for camping. Okay, you can go in 
go to camp and use the generator and you can use the generator in places where you do not need noise as a matter of fact if this generator is on you can hold a conversation with your next neighbor you can talk properly with this gen not acting as an interference but you can't do that with the equivalent of conventional generators okay that is one maintenance for maintenance uh, this generator is pretty easy to maintain however you don't often you don't often maintain this generator why because of how it is built all you just need to do is clean the plug once in a while change the oil but you can't say that for the conventional generators that are of this size okay its maintenance is less and way really less than the conventional generator next up number eight on our list is the emission okay the emission is low that's not to say it does not emit um, smoke or carbon it does emit but it is very low compared to the conventional generator and ninth which happens to be one of the most important is this for generators like this for inverter generators like this you can connect them in parallel okay let's assume this generator is 1200 watts right you can get another inverter generator of the same size and connect it in parallel it will give you 24 watts and you can use that 24 watts to power your house i hope you get me so for inverter generators like this you can connect them in parallel to give you a higher power but you can't dare do that with conventional generators or rather i have not seen where it is done with conventional generators so guys that is the difference between an inverter generator and a regular conventional generator there is a follow-up video to this in that follow-up video we'll be dismantling this particular inverter generator we'll dismantle it and show you guys the individual components you may want to know okay you may want to know how the inverter module looks like you may want to know how the radio system looks like you may want to see the coil head whatever you want to see it will be found in the next video so guys that is it from us on this particular channel if you've loved our videos and you've liked our videos you know what to do there is something of note i need to talk about and that is our membership community a lot of persons have been asking questions on the comment section and sometimes i honestly don't see them some i see i respond to but if you want to get direct access to us the creators myself and the, my team you want to get direct access to us the best you can do is to join our membership community our membership community is just a token how to get access just go down under this video you will see the join button click on the join button and then you will have access to the different plans we have it's up to you to choose the plans that tickles your desire till we meet in our next class guys it's goodbye from us take care